All right, well, it's that time of year again when we all get excited about that extra hour of sleep, but then quickly have to adjust to the shorter days and earlier darkness. Here's to uh, here to help us survive the end of daylight saving time with our sanity intact is Dr. Catherine Boynest of Virginia Hospital Center. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I was telling you that um, we have a lot of problems, it seems like, on the roads this time of year when we switch back and we're going to work in the dark, we're coming home in the dark. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how exactly does DST, Daylight Saving Time, affect one's you know, inner clock? So daylight savings time um, occurs in the spring and then again in the fall is when mm -hmm. it ends. And it affects our circadian rhythm. And our circadian rhythm is our internal clock, which is regulated by the sunlight. So when we have less sun exposure and more dark, it tends to affect some chemicals and hormones in our body, which okay. may make some people more sad, depressed, or fatigued in the winter months as opposed to when it's sunny or in the spring and summer. So if it makes you more sad or fatigued, then I'm assuming it's, it's definitely having an effect on your mood. Mm -hmm. We've all heard of SAD, yes. seasonal affective mm -hmm. disorder. I think I get that. Yeah. Because I'm just kind of like ho oh, hum. And, yeah. yeah. It's a spectrum. Now, some people will have no symptoms at all. Mm -hmm. And on the other end of the spectrum is when you can have severe clinical depression, which we know is seasonal affective disorder. Right. Most of us tend to fall somewhere in between, and the symptoms can vary on a day to day basis. Does it have a difference, the effect, on kids versus adults? Same thing with the children. And they, it, you know, with, the, with kids, it's uh, the more sun exposure is really important, mm -hmm. exercise and good sleep habits. So, so you would su suggest keeping them outside on warmer days? Yes. <laughs> well, you know, even if it's not warm, it's important mm -hmm. that they get sun exposure every day. So when they come home from school, instead mm -hmm. of having them come in and do their homework, encourage them to go outside and play right. and, and have that sun exposure and get that activity and exercise that they need. And then come home, eat dinner, do their homework. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that the same for people? Because I'm wondering, are there any tips to help you know, conquer this so that you're not depressed or you're not feeling the the gloomies, if you yeah. will. Yeah, the best thing to do is increase your sun exposure. If you're at home, make mm -hmm. sure you open up the curtains and the blinds, sit in front of, of a sunny window. Okay. If you're working on your coffee break, instead of going to the break room, go outside for a couple minutes. And I also encourage people to go outside at lunchtime. Go for a 10 to 20 minute brisk walk. Okay. If you don't want to walk, just sit on the park bench and enjoy the, the you know, absorb mm -hmm. the sun rays and just bundle up if it's cold. So for the people who actually have SAD and it really affects them, do you think those lights work? Yes, they yeah, do the work. Stud lights, studies yeah. have definitely shown that those those lights that you can buy, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you need to get a reputable light in the kind that is the right kind of radiation, not radiation, it's not the right word, but there are different kinds. You need right. to make sure you get the right kind and okay. use it in the proper way, but th they definitely do help a lot. Okay, so exercise. What about food? Anything we should be eating? Food. Now, in the wintertime, people tend to um, go to that carb up, carb up those yeah. comfort foods, but in fact, you really should do the opposite. Okay. Avoid those those simple carbs, the white bread, white pasta, the rice, the yeah. sweets. The ones that just make you want to sit and uh. Because they make you more tired. Yeah. And you should really kind of make your meals a little bit more protein heavy. Okay. okay. Protein and heavy. And then avoid ca excess caffeine. You know, people are tired and they tend to drink more caffeine than mm -hmm. it actually has an adverse effect. And then alcohol. Again, try to limit the <laughs> amount of alcohol that you drink. That's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're right. feeling blue. <laughs> All right, Dr. Catherine on Buenos. Thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it so much. All right guys coming up next meet the